All right, we'll do some arena. Why not? Uh, it's been a while since I made anything arena based in a little bit. There's just not much going on. Look at this guy. Six red star pyro, six red star phoenix, four red star mags, three red star drax. Ah, not a bad combo. Um, but I'm pretty sure I can beat it. Uh, we'll just see how this team goes because it just never loses. Uh, it just it doesn't. Oh. Ah, all right, cat. Fine. You can join me. All right. Calm down, kitty. Calm down, kitty. All right. Let's see. What are we doing here? All right. So there's Drax. Phoenix in the middle. So I actually told him to do this. Because I think if you have a Phoenix, you want her in the center. And you want her taking splash damage as much as possible. Getting those vision uh, basics across the middle. And uh, for me, whenever I see a Drax, I always disrupt on turn one. Even though I know that's going to go to Phoenix. Um, the reason being that... Uh, I want a target that's not Phoenix, even if it's him. And so I'll do the 50-50 uh, here to hit either Pyro or Phoenix with the ability block. Uh, all I'm doing is really stalling uh, until I can get after their uh, Ultron, because he's the one that's really going to kill me. And the other thing I'm trying to do is avoid killing um, Phoenix, most importantly. Now she's slow, disrupted, whatever, that's fine. Um, we'll see if we can take out... So whenever I'm in this situation, I know that the turn meter is not that big of a deal to give Ultron because it doesn't give him another buff. So I like to kill the Accelerator, just get him off the board. And, oh, here we go. Uh, Alright, so let's clear these buffs, see if we can get that. <laughs> God damn. I was really hoping to expose that dude. Um, might not have a choice here. Shit. Alright, I'm going to hope I don't chain to three targets. No, oh, I did. Fuck me. <laughs> All right, Magneto's. Oh, my Magneto's dead. Oh. Oh. Well, that's no good. Uh, all right, we'll call in reinforcements and hope that we don't get screwed. Eek. Oh, I just lost all my buffs on that Juggernaut. That sucks. All right, so next thing. Um, my Ultron already has speed up, so I can afford to do this. I think it's really important to throw a negative speed bar on her. Uh, if you don't, it just it makes it makes it unlikely that you're gonna get your stuff off before their uh, Phoenix does her stuff. Now I think I can one shot this Ultron because I got the uh, offense up, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And now this should kill all of them. Okay, that works. And now we gotta worry about Phoenix. We want the offense up to go on her, or offense down to go on her, and it did. That's good. Um, but we got the bleed on Ultron. Unfortunately, it did not kill him. And now their Phoenix is about to go and murder me. That hurts. Um, but you know what? We got we got our own little army. We can come back from this. Let's get rid of that Phoenix. Oh my god. She's six reds. Oh, uh, we gotta get rid of Ultron here. Can't can't Oh there we go. Alright, good time for the AoE. Woo! That was close. But anyways. <laughs> Man, yeah, I'll tell you what, I think putting Phoenix in the center is the way to go. Um, I think it makes it harder on the attacker because they really don't have as much uh, leeway when it comes to AoE attacks. There's a lot of characters that people like to use that have AoEs that uh, also have some utility to them, like Vision, for instance. Um, Magneto also has uh, some extra hits on his, uh, or chain attacks on his basic. Um, so they may be forced to waste something that they don't want to in order to avoid killing your Phoenix, or they just don't watch what they're doing, and they accidentally do it, and then your Dark Phoenix is unleashed, and you may be able to give them hell. Um, however, for this method to really work, I think you need Colossus, because his auto taunt on the uh, Phoenix death is really important. He also gives deflect up, and uh, he pulls, uh, you know, well, he taunts automatically, so he pulls the focus away from Dark Phoenix when she pops up. Uh, I think there's a lot of benefits to having Colossus in that team instead of Drax, potentially. But Drax does keep your Ultron safe. So, I don't know. It's Man, I feel like we need to have like six characters on defense for Arena now to have like even a viable defense, you know? Because the only time I've really lost lately is when I fought this guy. Uh, there's a dude in here named Behorst. I don't know what that means, but 
Um, maybe he's like German or something. I don't know. Um, but he has a seven red Phoenix and a five red Pyro, I think, and, and uh, like a six red Drax or something. I don't know. He's got a ton of red stars, like crazy amount. His, his team's like 340-something K. Um, but the only time I've accidentally lost to him is when I accidentally kills Phoenix early, and it's a seven red Phoenix. So it does take a lot of damage, but uh, when I wasn't watching once, I just accidentally killed her, and I was like, oh, shit. And then her ult went off pretty quick after, and uh, that made it really difficult. Um, she basically hosed my team. I just had Ultron and my Phoenix left, and we couldn't outduel a seven red star Phoenix with just the two of them. Cat. I'm going to throw you somewhere else. All right, this is Stormy. He says hello. Hey, everybody. Uh, he cannot settle himself, so he's going to go over there now. All right, uh, but that's that fight. I, I think, you know, it's, it's uh, man, there's really just not a great arena defense right now, but there's some interesting stuff with Invisible Woman potentially joining the fray, but I just, I don't have a slot for her on my defense right now unless I take out like Drax for her so for me ah, it's a tough choice um, I really like this kind of setup I like uh, forcing the attacks over here to hit Magneto um, instead of uh, Ultron and getting and you know potentially getting dodge off of uh, any splash damage on Phoenix and just keeping her in the middle so if they use the uh, Magneto pool at the beginning, you know, you're not like, oh, Ultron's on an island over on this side, so that's who I'm targeting. It's like he's going to be right next to Phoenix, so they have to hit them, and I think that's really important. So Drax is there just to hopefully keep Ultron alive, um, or at least keep him alive for, you know, and clean for a turn so he can get going. Because uh, if they don't manage him correctly, you might have a shot at winning. Maybe not. I don't know. It varies so much though. Um, Really, it also comes down to your shard and how intelligent people are. But that that's, you know, kind of a crapshoot. Some people are in shitty shards and some people are in really good ones. Uh, I consider myself pretty fortunate in my shard um, to be able to stay top 10 pretty easily. Uh, and I think that's, uh, that's, you know, just it's such a luck of the draw kind of thing. So, But uh, keep plugging away. And uh, if anybody thinks of a cool defense, uh, let me know. I'll give it a shot or I'll have one of my friends post it up here and, and I'll take a shot at it and see how it goes.